our media to the exclusion of what's happening um, in Haiti, for example, has focused on these Cuban protests, which are quite small um, compared to what we're seeing uh, in protests to right-wing governments internationally. And a lot of this is, I, I, it seems a bit coordinated. Uh, I'll just say that. And there was no real coverage of the counter protests in Cuba either. That's not uh, that's not uh, to say that the response by the Cuban government has been good. And that's, you know, I think a, an important qualifier. But with all that said, that's a big lead up to this hilarious clip of Ritz, Rick Scott, who is a part of the institutions that are trying to capitalize on these Cuban protests for their own project. Um, here he is showing off his Spanish speaking skills. Our pueblo de Cuba, no están solos. Nosotros estamos con ustedes en esta lucha. Los Estados Unidos están con ustedes en esta lucha. So I don't speak Spanish. I also don't pretend to. I don't think he does either. I don't think no, he does that sounded either. like he was reading those words off of a card or memorized them. He sounds like Peggy Hill um, speaking Spanish. He sounds like he he was giving off Sarah Palin writing her notes on her hand to Katie Couric vibes. He he's giving uh, De Blasio a run for his money as like worst worst English to Spanish accent. And like when he does his own like you know uh, Spanish counterpart at the press conferences, right, right. So that's really all the. I questions. mean, imagining like I just <laughs> I can't get over the fact that like you know we have these movies like uh, the Body Snatchers or whatever. Yeah. And I just look at Rick Scott, and also you think of like the total amount of damage that guy's done to just a human life and just brutality as far as like coercing people to work and stuff like that. Right. Biggest Medicare like, defrauder in uh, state's history. Yeah. Like what's the, like the, that guy, that is just like the movie version of body snatchers. Just like, uh, that's a hollow, a hollow representation compared to what a real body snatcher looks like. And, uh, I don't know how to say body snatcher in Espanol. Well, I mean, I guess if we're going to keep doing movie references, Bradley, can you pull up an image of the guy from Poltergeist 2? This is going to be expert producing that I'm asking of you. Maybe I can send one here. In the meantime, I'm going to hit people with some Peggy Hill Spanish just so that we can contextualize Matt's joke. <laughs> yeah. It's always a good time for Peggy Hill Spanish. Little Lupe. Sue Pudinor. Yo poder ver que usted ser caballo reasonable. Yo estoy muy embarazada por la que pasar por Lupe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then imagine that coming out of this face. Damn, I'm sorry for not preparing you for this. Yep. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's a, that's um, uh, Uncle Scott. <laughs> that was um that was uh, that gave me nightmares that guy as a kid anyway folks there's more of what you've just saw where that came from that's if you hit the subscribe and like button thank you really thank you